Hey everybody, Z Garcia here. Today I'm going to be unboxing Sailblazer here. Rise to Ascendancy from Korea Board Games. It seems to be a piratey game, of course. And it looks to have some tile laying there. It's going to have some player boards, a whole lot of cards, some tokens. Not sure what's going on. The discovery of new sailing routes connecting the Far East and Europe has westernized, transfixed on the ever-nearing blue horizon. Uh, you're trying to rise to the Zenithy, of course, and become the most prestigious sailblazer. This is a game for two to four players, ages 10 and up. 60 minutes, it says. So let's see what we've got in this box. All right, let's just take a quick look at the components. I'm definitely captivated by this cover. I have to say it's a gorgeous looking cover. So let's see what everything in it looks like. We've got ourselves a rule book here. It tells all your components, sailor markers and rum. Of course, you need that rum markers for a pirate game. Some dice, some wares, some goods. Decks of cards and tiles. Layer boards uh, there, some gameplay. Not a whole lot of images, but this is probably all right. Some explanations and then scoring at the end there. Seems like a fairly straightforward game. Not too much going on. We've got, ooh, look at that, the Kraken. We've got a deck of cards, ooh, prologue. Is this a story-driven thing? Maybe I'm not supposed to open this. Well, let's, take a, let's take a quick peek, shall we? Shh, don't tell anybody. We're not gonna, we're gonna, not gonna let anyone know we're looking at this. Yeah, look at that. So, prologue. Advice from Baldo the Sea Dog. So you want to be a sailor, huh? Uh, let's peek at one random one, all right? You find a large merchant ship, shipwreck. Uh, okay, it looks like it was attacked, unfortunately. Fortunately, some goods are still usable, so you get to prestige some Jensen for experience points. Uh, crow pirates. It looks neat. And if it's got some story-driven elements to it, then that's got to be really good. I'll put these back in one sec here. All right, we've got here some uh, boards. Uh, these are sort of player aids, it looks like. Very nice. Super thick cardboard. Well done there. Some tokens, components. These are unusual colors. All of them, actually. The red and even the pink, the orange. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the yellow, the gray. They look a little different than the usual. I am a little bit worried about if these are supposed to be player colors or mark something particularly important. These two colors are pretty similar. The, the pink and the, the reddish there. The, the, I don't know what that is, peachy kind of color. Alright, so those are a little bit close, but we'll see if that matters. Some more tokens here. We've got the dice. These are wooden dice. Uh, they are just sort of printed on there, so um, I do worry a little bit about them wearing. And then the little ones, also wooden. The, the wood grain on these is definitely showing a lot. Not the highest quality dice I've seen, but I like the, the fact that they are printed with numbers instead of pips. They look they look neat. They're just not super high quality. Small deck of cards here. There we go. Again, I really like the aesthetic overall of the game. And then down here we've got some player boards. Single-sided. Place for your coins, your experience, your level. Spot for some, uh, some sailors there that looks like they'll give you a little bonus as you populate that spot. All the ships are the same. And then down here, the what's going to make up the board, and as well as some coins and so forth. So let's see. All right, we've got some metals, some coins, the tiles, of course. They're just popping right out of here. That's a good sign. These are nice and thick. They're a little on the plain side. Uh, the water effect is fine. And the islands are fine, but they are a little basic. You know, they don't really pop as much as maybe I'd like them to. Still, looking good. Some more tokens back here. Pretty standard stuff. Let's see. Again, nice quality. Thick. They pop right out. I like that. Uh, it's hard to do this because they are really just falling out. Some more tiles. See what I mean? Just bloop, 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 put my fingers right through it. All right, there we go. So this looks like a nice exploration game, assuming exploration is part of it. I like the uh, the tile exploration uh, style of games. It's, it's one of those things that I always appreciate. 
So there you go. That is Sailblazer. Seems to have some, some fun packed in here. I, I can't wait to sort of check out what the gameplay feels like. But overall, with just the components, I am engaged. I'm interested. I'm intrigued because of this. And I appreciate the way everything is put together. So that's going to be it for our unboxing here. Sailblazer. Stay tuned for more coverage on that game as well as many others. I'm Z Garcia, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Tune in every day for the Dice Tower's daily game unboxing.